Central St. Martin's. Central St. Martin's. Central St. Martin's. Central St. Martin's. So Central St. Martin's is a pretty well-known school and it has some pretty incredible alumni like Alexander McQueen, Stella McCartney, uh, a lot of actors like Piers Brosnan, and even Tom Hardy went to Central St. Martin's. Now, I'm personally studying industrial and product design. I'm in my third year, so I'm in my last year currently. And recently I've been getting a lot of messages on LinkedIn and on Instagram, and some of them look a lot like this. Hey, I'm trying to get into CSM or I'm in my I'm in college or I'm in high school or whatever and I want to go to CSM, what are some tips that you can give me to kind of help me get in there or see if I'm missing anything extremely important in my portfolio or something along the lines of that. And so I wanted to make this video to kind of break that down in some bite-sized pieces. I'll leave the time codes down below so you guys can, can kind of scroll through. And yeah, let's just get started. The first really important piece of advice that I wanted to show or explain when building a portfolio is to definitely try to show your thinking. So try to explain the reasoning behind your designs or your your art or whatever it is that you're applying to CSM for. Now I know that industrial design or product design is probably pretty different from fashion and architecture or whatever, but pretty much all of CSM works in the same way. Central St. Martins is pretty different in the way that they think and how they actually act when it comes to design schools compared to other ones like I've seen. Like I said, one of the most important things that you need to add and make sure that you have in there is make sure that your decisions are readily outlined. So what does that mean? It means make sure that people can tell why you did the certain things that you did. So why does that line go there instead of there try to think in the way of the user so make sure that you're thinking about ergonomics how would someone hold something or how it's would someone use the product that you're intending or how would someone wear the, the the item that you're designing right I'm trying to think in terms of fashion here another point that I wanted to really dig deep on is that talent doesn't really matter when it comes to CSM some of the best designers in the entire world are horrible at sketching and cannot hold a pencil for their life but the point of CSM isn't to be the best sketcher or drawer in the world no, it obviously depends right on the course but the point of CSM is to teach you how to think as a designer and as a problem solver the point of CSM is to have you graduate with these skills where you can then go to leading design agencies or companies and be pretty much the main dog <laughs> the main lead designer at that company be able to know how to think with with different problems, be able to problem solve, have design thinking strategies, and really be able to navigate through all these areas of design. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be really good at these super fine detail sketching or the kind of that you see on Instagram and Pinterest that are really just insane. In fact, in my course, they pretty much go against that. So they don't want you to draw like that and spend 30 hours on a sketch because it just doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Especially not when CAD exists and someone can pretty much do a, a CAD of something that you're creating in under 20 minutes probably and it's gonna take you about four hours. Another really important point that you need to take into consideration is that passion above all is the most important thing. If you're sitting at the interview at CSM and they're asking you all these questions and you really know what to answer, Above all, make sure that they see that you are passionate in what you want to study and you're, you really wanna be there, right? That you have a reason to be there. Another thing you need to take into consideration, especially when you're doing a course like industrial design or product design, is that try not to have too many things in the same subject. What I mean by that is try not to have the entire portfolio be your 3D prints that you created at home, or try it not to be all super detailed sketching, right? You wanna be able to show separate different scales, separate ideas that you can create and try doing a lot of model making, a lot of sketching, a lot of 3D representations of what you're creating. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be good or just the best sculpturally, the best things in the world, right? All it means is that it has to show reasoning you have to explain the reason to why the handle is there or why that button is there right maybe it's easier to go around the thing instead of right you need to explain all of your design ideas and your reasoning behind every little notch and every little curve and it has to all make sense now if the tutors are viewing your portfolio in the interview and it has really beautiful sketches but it doesn't really have kind of that logical thinking they might not accept you now the reason for that is that csm isn't really the type of school that kind of digs deep on technical skills, right? It doesn't really matter if you're good at CAD or it doesn't really matter if you can do 3D printing. I know a lot of people that use Canva for their presentations, right? You don't have to be the best at Photoshop or Illustrator or even know Cinema 4D or any of that. A lot of people learn that when they get to university. So you don't need to kind of think, oh my God, I need to learn all these skills to be able to get there. You don't need that. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing my design portfolio that I applied to CSM with, and, and obviously I got in, then let me know down below. I'll be sure to make a video on that if you guys do want to see that. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.